g'day comrade subscribers uh, hopefully the rains finally stopped let's see so back on the minstrel 2 uh, what I want to try and do here is fix an issue that's inherent to these uh, ZX 80s um, video output so something that Dave discovered and of course once he discovered it he had to fix it <laughs> Uh, and he has fixed it in his latest, um, I think it's version 2.9 of the Minstrel 2 board. So I've got an older one, I've got a uh, version 2.6. So my um, Minstrel 2 is closer to the original ZX80 uh, video output. He has improved it a little bit, I think by adding a back porch signal which was missing. Um, and that's what this sem 4 uh, LS08 is doing here. So. Um, Check out Dave. Dave's written a very good uh, two blog entries on his blog about it. Links are in the video description um, where he analyzes it and, and shows how he how he fixed it. So I definitely recommend having a read of that. Um, it was never an issue back in the day because it wasn't visible on a CRT. It's only visible on a on an LCD. And um, I'll, I'll show you an example now. Um, you can see it. It's those um, those vertical lines, almost like jail bars. And um, so I'm, I'm not going to let's say Dave goes into great detail, but basically it happens when um, when the uh, character invert signal gets reset at the end of um, an eight pixel block or something like that. Um, anyway, so he's fixed it. So um, what he sent me. Let's, let's just get my keyboard out of the way here. Now it's no guarantee it works. It should should work whoops it should work um, so Dave sent me right so this is the fix this is the fix that he's done and I've marked points a b c d and e to map them to my my version so you can see here he's put in a, um, a, a D flip-flop he's got two actually a pair of them um, which I think he said something about it samples the signal so that way it gets rid of the issue completely so this is the this is the version 2.9 schematic where it's fixed, and then this is the video output stage on the version 2.6, which is what I've got. And again, you can see A, B, C, D, E. So they're the same points on on the 2.9 schematic that I need to kind of match up with. And um, yeah, I can get rid of the 3.3k resistor um, in the final design. So based on that, I've designed this small board. Um, so this is the schematic here. Basically, we recover the transistor, and I think we've got a new diode. And um, basically, yeah, we've got that flip-flop Sem4 LS Sem4, or actually, I've got Sem4 HCT Sem4. So the result of that was thank you again to PCB Way for for letting me do this um, for free. But this tiny little board here, and the why it's the reason why it's shaped like that is if we um, just disconnect my turn the power off. Okay. So if we have a look on my initial, so this is the 74LS08. So that is replaced in the um, current version of the Minstrel 2. So the idea with my board is that we also remove that and then we stick this little daughter board in place. So it's squared like that so you've still got access to the reset key. Um, but yeah, so, and then we've got basically four bodge wires coming off to, um, well we've got the video output here so we remove this and the video output will be a bodge wire going to there. And um, then a very a couple of other signals that we need. So let me make this up. I wasn't sure how to how I was going to put it in the socket. I don't know whether I should remove the socket and just put a pair of um, header sockets so I can just put it in like that. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. I know I said it briefly, but um, yeah, again, just thanks to PCB Way for helping me out. Um, every little bit helps, and uh, them allowing me to um, to design and get these. PCBs fabbed for free and shipped for free uh, really makes a difference. It allows me to do weird little things like this um, and test them out and um, and see if they work um, at no risk. So um, I really do appreciate them. So yeah, definitely check them out. I'd 
the the projects that are worth sharing that I create I do upload there so um, you can easily order them from there as well so yeah anyway let's um, let's get stuck into this one and the board is ready to go I think neat little design I think <laughs> so I just got to figure out what's the best way to mount it in here with what I have so I know that's upside down but I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to get some kind of distance I might remove these uh, these dual wiper and put a proper <laughs> proper turn pin socket in first and um, figure something out just about ready to give it a try let's see so I think this should give it enough height I think it's good that's good enough now to connect up the bodge wires so we just need a four-way Dupont Dupont cable wire or whatever it's called set of wires uh, which I think are upstairs okay and here is the final result uh, yeah <laughs> So you don't need to, uh, I only had a five way, not a four way, so I need to order some, but yeah, obviously you don't need to use this. You can just run separate wires, which I think maybe might have, the idea here was that you could just pull this out, pull that out and put a, um, put the original chip back in, but obviously you need to also put the transistor in there. Uh, but yeah, first attempt. So um, first thing is let's see if the machine still outputs video. And then let's see if the pixel synchronization issue is uh, fixed. Right, moment of truth. Let's zoom in, there we go. And start recording. And power on. Okay, yeah, it's still working. Um, I've, I've changed it from inverse to normal. So black text on white background because that shows it up better, I think. So, so far, so good it's still getting video output um, now the example I showed was Pac-Man so let's load Pac-Man again um, just using the Z expand all right moment of truth there we go perfect perfect image we'll let the um, let the little AV PAL thing go away in the corner. Brilliant, big difference. Um, I'm still going to be crap at this. Um, well, I guess I, I've got no excuse because the ZX band, well, another video, I can add a, I can plug a, key, a joystick into, um, but we'll give it a quick go. So it was the five, six, seven. I've um, I've actually designed a gaming keyboard for the Minstrel using Cherry keys, and I've uh, moved the five, six, seven, eight. Um, down to a separate cursor cluster. Well, yeah, it's still at the top as well. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see if that if I can improve. Give this a quick try. All right, but yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Well done, Dave. Up, down. There we go. Come, gotcha. All right, and I, I need to go. Ah, uh, uh, down, down. Right, that way. Oh, these guys are, um, they don't give you, ah, 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 da, da, ah. <laughs> All right, but um, yeah, so Dave's fix fixes it. And my, um, my backward, uh, what's it called when you, um, let me just stop this. And my backward uh, porting back of the fix onto the earlier Minstrel 2 um, seems to fix it as well. Like I said, I'm not too happy with how I've got this. I think I'll replace that with just um, straight wires. I think just separate hookup wires I think will be easier. I just thought having the DuPont, you can just unplug it, pull it out. But I don't see any reason why you'd want to remove the fix, to be honest, because it, it makes a... It makes a good improvement. So I'm just going to tidy up those wires, I think. But yeah, um, that works. So a little side note about the ZX80 video output history, I guess. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, bye for now.